Hi all of you awesome scuba divers out there, welcome to Scuba Diver Magazine and welcome to Ask Mark, our Q&A section uh, where I, Mark, a former scuba diving instructor, do my best to answer your scuba diving questions. So if you do have any scuba related questions, by all means pop it down in the comment section underneath this video. Use this hashtag either at the beginning or the end, it doesn't really matter as long as it's somewhere in your comment, uh, just so it highlights it for me so that I know that there's a question that needs answering. Uh, and if you are in the comment section, you do see a question unanswered. Answered, um, just by all means let them know the correct answer. Uh, I do try and type out an answer so you do get an, uh, an answer before having to wait for me to create a video, edit it, upload it and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, today I'm answering a question from Magic by Vincent, fantastic name, uh, all about hoses and adapters. So Magic by Vincent uh, says, Hi Mark, love the videos, uh, get a lot from the content, thank you. Uh, I'm trying to make the smallest, lightest travel setup that I can because I'd like to fit everything in a carry-on. With that in mind, my first stage only has two hoses come off of it, along with a transmitter. The first hose goes to my primary second stage, which I'm switching to a Miflex hose after learning about it in one of your videos. Uh, the second hose goes to my Scuba Pro Air 2, I would like to switch that hose to a Miflex hose as well, but I'm getting conflicting slash confusing advice about whether or not I can switch the second hose to Miflex because of the connection at the Air 2. My Ask Mark question simply boils down to this. Can I use a Miflex hose? It will be connecting to an Air 2. Would stroke could anything special need to be done in order to for the answer to be yes? Uh, if so, what exactly needs to be done? Thanks in advance for any and all information and answers. Uh, so yes, uh, it, it can be done and quite easily because um, uh, thanks go to Scuba Pro. Um, and, and this is a great question because it gets me to uh, like really nerd out about scuba diving hoses uh, of all things. But Scuba Pro, are one of the um, the few brands that do something very special. Um, I've only ever seen this on Scuba Pro and AP valves. I think they do it on a few of their hoses as well. And all Scuba Pro reg low pressure regulator hoses, so whether it goes to a second stage that you're breathing from or your low pressure inflator hose to your BCD, they're all regulator hoses. It's just the BCDs have little adapters attached onto them. So that's a great feature because it means that you can adjust the, or you can swap the hose. You don't need to get that specific fitting. I know this isn't the exact fitting for your Scuba Pro Air 2. Uh, for anyone who's unsure on what an Air 2 is, it's one of these. It's basically, if a inflator and a second stage had a child, uh, it, it's an inflator with a second stage built into it. So divers can use that to donate their primary to their buddy, and then they themselves will start to breathe from their inflator. And the reason it doesn't have a standard DIN quick disconnect fitting is that you simply need more airflow because you're breathing from it instead of just inflating your BCD. So you tend to have a larger quick disconnect fitting that looks a bit like this. Um, but, if you need this unique fitting, then how do you change the hose? Well, Scuba Pro, of course, thought of that, and they made it so that you can just find any um, regulator hose. Uh, this one, for example, this is a Apex uh, hose. Um, I think they just call it a, um, uh, it's just a braided hose, really. Um, and this fitting is that standard thread that goes onto any second stage, but with that quick disconnect fitting from your Air 2, you can attach it onto that regulator hose and turn it into a BCD hose. Um, I do it for a, um, I have a separate regulator that I use just for inflating my car tires uh, because you can get fittings uh, like this. Uh, or there's a brass version um, that you can use to inflate car tires. And it has the same fitting as your BCD. So I just have a 2.1 meter long hose and you attach it thusly. Uh, and now you can inflate your car tires without having to uh, do it manually. Um, yeah, I just find it much more civilized. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's very quick and easy. The reason why I got this other fitting out is because Scuba Pro use 
instead of a standard like hexagonal nut, they use, um, oh, someone told me the name of it uh, and I'll forget. I'll find the comment and I'll pop it down here. Um, they use a nut that looks like this which has lots of lots of little sections on it. Uh, so when you look at your quick disconnect hose, it'll look, or the end will look something like this. So you'll have a hexagonal nut, and then you'll have this banded section. That's the nut that you want to be attacking. Um, you do have to be careful. There is a dedicated tool for it, which looks a bit like this, um, that you can yeah, you can buy from Screw Pro dealers. Uh, I just had to make sure quickly in my mind that it wasn't like a, a dealer only part. Uh, I think you can sell them um, because it's, it's a useful tool. And that latches onto there and then you get a regular spanner or a wrench, whatever you call it, to undo that quick disconnect fitting. And then, yeah, you can take that off and then fit it to whatever length Miflex or braided hose um, that you like and yeah you're basically turning that regulator hose into a quick disconnect bcd hose for your air too um, or indeed I, i've got a bunch of these these are the um, the, the standard bcd inflator hose uh, or dry suit inflator quick disconnect fittings that um uh, that, that you get on scuba pro bcds and dry suits they're handy um i as I said, it's, it's really handy to be able to just get a regulator hose instead of try and find a, a BCD hose because this is, yeah, this is a Miflex. That's a Miflex BCD hose, standard DIN fitting, and that's all it will ever be. Um, with a regulator hose, yeah, and one of the uh, the adapters, you can change it. You, I suppose you could fit an elbow to it if you really wanted to as well. Sure, you are increasing the number of failure points, but you're getting a bit more flexibility. Um, so yeah, uh, short answer, yeah, you can do it yourself. Uh, it's pretty easy. If you are trying to, um, that doesn't go in there. Uh, if you are trying to attack that nut without the dedicated tool uh, i would use something to protect that um, that nut just because it's chrome plated brass so it's very easy to chip it and then it just looks a bit nasty uh, so i usually wrap it with a, um, a section oh, of um, of nylon webbing just wrap it around that gives it enough like grip and then use some pliers or whatever tool that you have to like wrench it apart um i i just find it's uh, it is better to to protect it as much as you can uh but yeah that's definitely something that you can do yourself and then yeah you can attach that uh, that quick disconnect fitting to whatever length and style regulator hose yeah it's not that common um typically most manufacturers they make their range of regulator hoses their uh, high pressure uh, spg or, or gauge hoses and then they make their bcd hoses uh, they, they make all three scuba pro and ap valves uh, i know they do it for some of their fittings uh, and there, there might be others out there um, but um, they they decided you know what What's the point in making a, a completely separate range of hoses when we can just add an adapter um, that turns it into a quick disconnect fitting for our BCDs and dry suits? And it, it makes sense. It makes it so much more convenient um, because if you don't have the exact fitting, sometimes it can be a little bit limiting as far as finding replacement hoses. So for your example, it's the perfect example of, yeah, I want a slightly longer or shorter hose or a different style hose. Um, how, how can I get that? And, uh, and with some hose configurations, especially on like swivel joints, on some second stage when it's a built-in swivel, makes it really hard to find replacement hoses because you have to get that exact fitting and the manufacturer themselves are just gonna make like the standard length. Uh, if you want a different length or a different material, it's gonna have to be custom, which can take time. Whereas if you if it's just a, a, a little thing, sure, you're adding an extra failure point, but it gives you better um, like customization in the future. So yeah, an uh, awesome question. Um, yeah, as I said, it gets me to uh, to geek out about hoses. Uh, these small little features that most people aren't really aware of uh, until you start disassembling equipment. But yeah, it's it's one of those really nice things that Scuba Pro does uh, that they don't shout about probably as much as they should do. Granted, it's just hoses, but still for the 
equipment geeks like me. Uh, it is a cool feature, uh, but yeah, it's something that you can definitely do yourself and yeah, just get a, um, a Miflex braided regulator hose and then just fit that adapter onto it to fit to your air too any other questions by all means pop it down in the comment section underneath this video use this rsmark hashtag to get it featured in an up and coming video uh, otherwise like share subscribe do all that good social media stuff head over to our website as well scuba thank you for watching everybody and of course safe diving